everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we've got our topper reveals for the Great Module Sew Along. <laughs> um, I am doing three, I feel like I'm a broken record, but I'm doing three separate modules for this whole challenge and so I've got three toppers. Uh, I made two of them for this challenge and the other one I had made last year. So all three of these are me made, uh, two of them fairly recently and then the last one um, from last year. So let's uh, dig in and I will be showing you these toppers with all of their counterparts. So you'll be seeing all, um, let's see, six outfits per, well they're all three pretty much blazers, per blazer. <laughs> so um, Again, I'm keeping everything separate with modules. So I'm keeping all of module one together, showing all of that, all of module two together, all of module three together. And then next week for the big reveal, I'll be mixing it all together so you can see um, a whole bunch of different variations of ways that I can wear all 18 of my pieces. Okay, let's get started. All right, for module one, and you guys, if you follow along with my channel, um, you've seen this one. Because uh, I took this one to Florida, and so I showed some outfits and ways I was going to style it while in Florida. But this is the Alina Design Company Fulton Sweater Blazer. Um, I can't remember what size I made. Uh, 14 maybe? No. A 10. I think I made a 10. Um, because I was making it based on my shoulders. It is not supposed to close in the front. It says that on the pattern, um, but I mean, I didn't want it to be too tight. Uh, it is obviously made in a Ponte, um, but I think I just did a 10 with no alteration to it. I was only able to do, it comes with a three quarter length or a full length. I really wanted to do the full length sleeve, but I only had enough fabric for the three quarter length. So, and actually it turned out fine. Um, I really like this. So this is a uh, kind of a ivory. I mean, it's not as vanilla as this color, obviously. It's a little more white, but it is, it's not white, white. It's definitely um, like a creamy white. And I, um, a Ponte that was in my stash. That was actually earmarked for some pants, but I think I'll wear this a lot more. Uh, there are patch pockets on the front. It has this beautiful notched collar that kind of looks like, you know, the, the style where it kind of looks almost like you've got your collar popped a little bit. Um, I really like that detail. I think that's really, really cute. Um, it's knit, so it's super, super comfortable. I was a little afraid this would come off a little lab coat <laughs> when all was said and done, but honestly, when I've got it paired with all the different, uh, the two different pairs of pants, uh, both skinny leg and wide leg, I really like it, and this got a lot of wear in Florida, um, and because um, the white suit is really in for spring, which I didn't even know when I was um, planning all this, so it's always exciting when you find that you're doing something. I don't dress trendy, but it, I do like to keep abreast of the trends because um, sometimes I may want to play around with a couple, um, but I really kind of know my style. I'm very classic, very traditional. So um, yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll venture into it. Like the white suit, totally. I mean, that's right up my alley. Um, so anyway, this is uh, the Alina Design Co. Fulton Sweater Blazer. I did end up top stitching the um, um, facings down all the way down the front. I kind of like that look. Can you even see the top stitching? I kind of like that look, number one. I just think it, it looks nice and it keeps everything in place. So I, I went all the way around the back. Um, but yeah, I like kind of like that uh, detail. And again, it kept everything in place. Because it is knit, it will catch on other uh, knit things <laughs> or just anything that is a little bit stickier, like a cotton that it just grabs. Um, maybe if you're wearing silk, you wouldn't have that issue like a charmeuse. Um, but if you were wearing not a slick silk, it could still catch. So anyway, I guess more the weave. If you're wearing anything but like a satin weave, really, or like a um, chalet or something, it really does stick. So top stitch all that down. All right, so that is blazer number one. I'm going to try and hang these on my lights again like I did last week <laughs> or Friday. I'm filming far in advance at the moment. I've got family coming in town. We're gonna have family in town for 10 days. Um, not the same family. It, it switches, but trying to get ahead of things. Okay, blazer number two, also in a knit. 
This is the Itch to Stitch La Paz blazer. It is a knit blazer. It's got these um, lining backstays that number one, help keep the back from stretching out, and number two, really help when you're putting things on. You have more mobility and movement this way. It's not catching on things, um, which I mean, it's knit. It will pull, it will, um, I have a fuzzy. It will stretch with you, but um, it's just kind of nice to have the stay, number one, to keep things in shape um, so you don't get anything stretched out, and number two, um, just to help with ease of putting on. All right, I made a size eight with the D cups. This ha does have cup sizes. It's a knit pattern, but it does have cup sizes, um, and I'm pretty much a standard size eight D cup in any of the times she has cup sizes. Sometimes I'm at 10 in some of her knit tops, but a lot of times I'm also an eight in those two. Um, all right, a little bit, oh my gosh, I've got fuzz all over this. So I used this um, pine cone. Is that the name of it? Yes, I think it's pine cone was the name of the color, Ponty. I have a lot of this. Um, it's the same fabric I used to make my um, North Point North Point trousers because um, I wanted to make a suit, a, basically a brown knit suit. Love this. I just think it's, I mean, it's exactly what I wanted. It's kind of slouchy because it's knit. Um, it's got whelp pockets in it, and there are functioning ones. You've got um, pocket bags in there. Um, I didn't do any Hong Kong finishes on the inside, mostly because of la being lazy, um, but I really don't mind the, the surged edges. They really blend in with the fabric, so I, I really don't even, it doesn't bother me even a little bit. Now, one change I did make to the pattern was I did underline my sleeves with my lining fabric. So I used a very um, comparable color to my knit for my lining fabric, um, and this is just a, a standard lining. I'm sure it's a polyester lining, um, but it just helps with getting your arms in and out, so you're not getting stuck when you're putting it in. I do have a little bit of that issue with my Fulton sweater blazer. So I decided to go ahead and interline the, um, or underline the um, sleeves on that. And basically I just cut out the lining, the same, the two piece sleeve in lining, and then I surged the um, lining piece to the uh, body piece wrong sides together. So, you know, you can see the right side of the, the lining. And then I just sewed them as if they were one from that point on. Um, there's facings on the sleeves, so you don't, nothing peeks out. It's all same fabric. Um, I use some buttons from Joyce's stash. This pattern has a really cute, they, she has you do a diagonal buttonhole there for that button. I think it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, I put one of my Kylie in the Machine labels, the Yes I Made It labels in there. I'm all out of my Tomcat Stitchery labels, so I've been having fun with these. Uh, Two-piece sleeve, we've got princess seams in the front that go to the armhole, you can see those. And also in the back, there is a vent. Um, the back vent is mitered, which is always a lovely look. Uh, yeah, well, pockets, that's about all there is to say. It's just a knit blazer. And again, it's slouchier than like a um, this last one that I've made, which I kind of like. It's kind of a little bit more relaxed, yet it's still a suit, but it feels like secret pajamas. <laughs> so anyway, very pleased with that one as well. And I've been wanting to make that pattern for a really long time now, so I was glad I finally had an excuse to make one up and to try that out. Um, I've seen a few people actually make that in a stretch woven as well, so that might be something interesting to try. If I did a stretch woven, I think I probably would do a Hong Kong finish on the seams just for a little pop on the inside, but we'll see. I'm kind of jacket jacketed out at the moment. So, <laughs> All right, this is my third one. This is my crazy Jessica blazer. You guys have seen this quite a few times. I love this jacket. Um, it has the matching pants, so it is also a suit. I basically have three suits here um, for each of the three modules. Um, the white one is not a matchy-matchy one, but the second two, it's even the same fabric. Um, this is the uh, Sika Blazer, and actually this is the same lining that I put into the um, La Paz. I made this one last March. Um, I used the D-cup front, because this also has cup sizes, but I can't remember what size I sewed off the top of my head. I think a 10. It's either a 10 or a 12 um, with the D-cup. It has a two-part sleeve. I love this jacket so much. It, um, this pattern is fantastic. In fact, I have plans to make an orange linen one um, as soon as I can uh, 
get up the gumption to make another blazer. Blazers aren't hard to make, especially if you're making a lot like I have been recently. It's just a lot of steps. So there's a ton of interfacing and infrastructure that has to go into blazers, especially one, you know, that this has got the shoulder pads, it's got all of the different um, interfacings on the inside. There's hair canvas in there um, for support, which you need for a nice tailored garment. Um, but it's just a lot of prep. <laughs> So I have to be kind of in the right uh, mindset. But anyway, I love this jacket. It's going to just get worn a ton. I think it fits me really well. Um, I love it paired with everything that I'm making so far. I can't wait to show you next week. It paired with all the other modules as well. I'm just, for this being as crazy it is, it shockingly goes with so much in my wardrobe, which I guess is the plus of doing these modules. Um, is that you are making a cohesive closet. So then when you do have a piece like this um, that is in your colors, uh, I think that's kind of maybe, not that you necessarily have to pick your colors that some professional color analysis person has given you, but if you come up with, and it can be a big color palette, but a color palette where the colors are very harmonious and all kind of go together, which if you do have your colors done professionally, your entire booklet thing that they give you, your wallet, all go together because they're all kind of tonally the same. Um, so if you only shop those colors, you automatically have a closet that everything kind of goes together, which is kind of a perk. But anyway, um, yeah, I've noticed that since switching that way, I, it's amazing <laughs> what I've got to be able to go with this. Um, and even some of the new fabrics that I've been showing you guys, a lot of them I could make, uh, bottoms, tops, whatever, even dresses, and easily wear that over. So um, yes, those are my three toppers for the great module sew along. All right, next week we've got the big reveal. So next Tuesday is the end. So the idea is for everyone to do, um, if you haven't already, to do your reveal post. We just wanna see all six pieces. You can be wearing them if you'd like and uh, model some of the different outfit combinations and that kind of thing. Or you could do flat lays or you could have them hanging up. Um, we just wanna see a post, one Instagram post that has all six pieces included. It just makes it easier for us to keep track um, as we're going through to pick winners. And we're not picking winners. We're, as we go through to select people out to then put into the random draw, basically. Because um, there's a lot of posts in that great module so along um, hashtag, which I'm, we're, Carla and I are both so excited about. We're so glad that people have really embraced this. And there have actually been a few people that have asked if we would do this again next year, um, which I would definitely be game for doing. Um, yeah, so far it's just gone swimmingly. So uh, yeah, the hope is for the hashtag to stay alive, even without the challenge, and that maybe we'll do another challenge again next year. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for today. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will see you on Friday, and I've got a Sew the Look for you. Um, so it's one of my Winter Street Style looks that I had pulled from my Winter Street Style uh, video, which I'll be doing the spring. can't believe that. I've already been doing research for the spring. Um, street style looks and the patterns that you can use to recreate them um, here soon. So stay, I mean, probably not until April, but it will be here before we know it. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. But I do have a sew the look for you on Friday. And then uh, Sunday, I've got a little breather video before we start t-shirt week. So I am actually decided to uh, skinny the legs of my Liana stretch jeans, my denim ones that I had made, um, that I did the straight leg, but I just found that they flared a little too much at the ankle. And I think I'll wear them more if they're a skinnier leg. So I'm just going to show you how I do that alteration. And uh, if you've got similar things that you've made or things that you've thrifted or that you just have in your closet that you're wanting to do something similar, um, hopefully that's helpful. So that is what we've got going forward. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps me um, yeah, just get known a little bit better on YouTube so that I can continue to bring content to you all. Also, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to hit the little bell, you'll get notifications when I um, post, when I upload new videos. And that also helps um, with the whole algorithm thing that helps me get out in front of as many people as possible. So that'd be much appreciated. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.